BKFC 25, we are back here with a victorious Gabriel Mata, another debuting fighter coming out, winning by knockout, 37 seconds. Man, not a whole lot to talk about in the fight. Just go ahead and run us through it real quick. And it was just one of those things, like my coach was saying, just do what you do best. You know, I'm, I don't know, man, just heavy hands. That's how I got the nickname, Hands of Stone, you know, Manos de Piedra. And it was just one of those things where it's, it's it, as long as I'm patient, I pick my punches, I know they're going to land, you know, but everything I throw, man, as you guys see, is bad intention, man. I'm trying to put somebody to sleep. That would be the idea, right? Get in there, get out of there as soon as possible, make it to whatever appointment you had tonight. But, uh... Travis Lurchin, he's a veteran of MMA too. You guys got you got a lot of MMA in your background. Um, he's got a lot of fights coming from the Northeast. He um, he fights up around where we're from. Um, were you expecting a, a tougher fight than you got out of him? Uh, honestly, man, I, I I didn't. You know, not not to write the guy, write the guy off, but I didn't really do my research. You know, Nate told me who it was, and then that was it. That was it. I'm, I'm not one of these guys that that really worries about the opponent. You know what I mean? I kind of I worry about myself. I. I've been to that point in my career where I worry about somebody and then I mess up my game plan and I end up losing, you know, and it's a lot of the times when I get caught in the submission because I'll freak out thinking like, damn, I didn't really train this, I trained for this. But I, that, those days are long and over, you know, I'm, I'm going to make my opponents worry about me. I'm going to hit them and I'm going to hit them hard and the goal is to put them to sleep, man. So no, no, no offense or disrespect to the guy, but I knew he had a lot of fights um, like Muay Thai, just, just everything, man, like 40 something fights. So I didn't. I didn't expect to be the easy fight, but I know the type of fighter I am. And, you know, I'll tell you this, Arnold Adams, the BKFC heavyweight champ, I spar with him. So that should tell you yeah. kind of like, I don't pull back. I don't care who you are, you know what I mean? Nobody hits hard, hit harder than Arnold Adams, I promise you that, you know? So when I go into these fights, no matter they have 100 fights, getting off, whatever, it's just one of those things where I believe in myself. And I, I knew I was going to knock him out. You know, not 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 to be cocky, but I knew it was gonna be a knockout. When you're walking in with power like you got, and the plan is to knock a man out with one shot, I mean, I mean, does it really matter what his background is? You know? Yeah, at that point, <laughs> no, you're right. No, you're, you're yeah. right, man. But it's all about setting it up. If you watch the punches, man, it was kind of like pawing, touching his jab, making sure he wasn't cutting the distance that he was within my distance, throwing those sloppy punches, and I had to punch up and over, not no straight punch, you know what I mean? So I had to come up and over, and I knew when the first one landed and his feet went out underneath him, I had to be patient. I heard my coach say, be patient, and he took that step forward with his hands down, threw that overhand right, and landed. He says it hit him in the eye, I felt the temple. Yeah, shut the light off. It was lights out, man. Well, I'm gonna tell you the honest to God truth. I was sitting here doing an interview with another victorious fighter. I finish up the interview and I turn around and you're getting your fucking hand raised over there on the screen and I'm like, what the hell just happened over there, man? So I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch this fight. I take everything you uh, say as the truth. Uh, what is next for you? You're in the 205 division. A lot of big guys, big guys, big killers in there. You got Lorenzo Hunt in the mix. You got uh, Jay Fish and. Henry, uh, Quentin Hero, Henry, are you familiar with any of the names in that uh, division? Lorenzo Hunt, yeah. I yeah, just saw his last fight with Joe Riggs. But honestly, man, I'm not really a 205-er. Um, I'm really a middleweight. You know, me and my coach have been talking about this. The goal has always been for me to get down to 185. And that was the plan for MMA. But I mean, think about it, man. I got an opportunity to be on BKFC. You think I'm gonna pass it up? I took it at 205. But uh, I'm stubborn, man. I I'll cut down to 185. Way around 195, I'll still fight 205, man. You know what I mean? So is. 185, 205, let's get this money. A lot of opportunities to fight a lot of killers from the 185 all the way up to 205 range, man. Thank you very much for your I time. It, Good job tonight. Thank you. See you later.